What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Mushoku Tensei. Today we're doing season two, episodes 15 and 16. Before we get into anything, we do have a question over here on the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a QA section. You guys can ask me anything pertaining to a show, and I will try to answer it in the next reaction I do. This one is from Quagmire, longtime question asker, who says, Long time no see. He says, What is your favorite character on Mushoku Tensei so far? And do you think Rudy is going to meet Eris in this season? That is a good question. My favorite character is hard because Rudy, with the flaws and development he's had, is a fantastic character. He shows that, you know, you can most certainly have issues and stuff like that, but you can overcome them. Like everything with Roxy and the social anxiety in season one, I thoroughly enjoyed. But I think just based off where he started to where he's at right now, I think my favorite character is Rui Jird. I haven't seen him in a grip. But I love how devoted, how serious he is. But he's also, he's a, he's a killer, don't get me wrong. But he's one of the kindest souls you'll meet in this godforsaken world, you know, Mushoku Tensei. But probably Rui Jir. that's a good question. And the second part, do I think uh, Rudy is going to meet Eris again in this season? I actually don't. Uh, if it, I would like a little time with Sophie, maybe a time skip. Because I know everything going on with Ariel and trying to get the throne back we have like a little bit of time like a couple of years or some time to go for that but it could, it could be like the season finale that could be one of those cliffhanger kind of things how she left at the end of last season we see her at the end of this season I don't know it sounds weird because I love Eris but I kind of hope not I want Rudy to kind of mellow out with Sylvie for a little bit good question Remember, guys, check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions of these episodes as well as early access and the uncuts of the other shows and movies I'm watching. Uh, come follow the Twitch because we are live watching this. It's always a vibe watching this with you live. And then check out my other social medias. Ushoku Tensei, Season 2, Episodes 15 and 16. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, he got our letter about the wedding. What does Paul have to say? I love hearing his voice actor. Season one, we definitely had some beef, but we made up. Out cross over to Begarit. I love the Asian style architecture right here, you know. Really? Understandable. Is that Rui Jird? Rui's about to have a daycare. Hey, man, I get it with you going to get uh, Zenith and Begari, you know? I don't want them in danger either. Shout out, shout out, Paul. Gotta be sold out of Rui Jird. I can't think of many other men that we know like that, you know? Two years work. I'm hoping we can go back home one day for her. What are we going to try summoning from another world? Something we got a little wrong. We're getting close, though. I feel so bad because she's worked for literally, like I said, two years. Back to the drawing board she goes. It can be pretty disheartening after feeling like you finally have somewhat of a theoretical chance you know and they're just failing again talk about disheartening i mean i can't i can't blame her you know it's been years you know she just wants to go home everything's failing
gotta take her to the school the school and uh infirmary you know rudy can't really fully expose the fact that she and him are from another world you know And she reminds me of, like Megumi's sister. Grandmaster's so funny. I wonder how Zenoba's uh, studying of the dolls going, his deciphering of that code, you know. Zenoba's growing on me a lot. I fuck with him. Yeah. When it comes to the stress and depression, you know, anxiety. In my opinion, stress is one of the worst things, you, you know, you can have in this world. You should, you know, get to know her a little bit more. I wonder if uh, we're implying that that knife could have been for potentially suicidal tendencies, you know? Because there was most certainly a time Rui, Rudy wanted to kill himself, so. And he did like those during the wedding. Straight from Japan. She is depressed, bro. I feel bad for her. But that one hole wasn't plugged. That's why I was able to leak out and just destroy. I get why she feels like that and why it's all hitting her and why she's so depressed and stressed. But like, I would say in this world, nothing's impossible. You know? Right? Let's have the whole gang help out. Maybe we can develop something. Come on, Cliff. Yeah. What do you mean by compound? Interesting. I was just asking how your doll research was going. It's an Oba W. Rudy, fi Rudy figured that the creator of that died due, due to some accident, but I wonder if he's still alive out there. Right. Possible is all we need. I'm of the opinion if it's even a 1% chance, 1%ers one happen every day. Lift that head up. We, you didn't think of compound before, right? Like, there's still hope. Come on, Nanahoshi. Oh, you can literally see the light in her eyes come back, you know? That spark being reignited. See? It's crazy how much just a little bit of hope can change your entire aura, the vibe you're giving off. <laughs> Alright, Cliff, relax. And this also goes to show how important it is to have relationships and people you can depend and rely on, because this wouldn't have been able to be done without Rudy. And half of the things Rudy's done to this day would not be possible without people like Roxy, Rui, Jerd, Eris, Ghislaine, Sylphie, Alina, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a, that's a good, it's a good hopeful scene. All right, this is what we've decided. Compound magic circles. Goes from layer one to layer two, to layer three. No breaking of the circuit this time. What are we going to summon? A football. Out of the water. That's plastic. That's straight from Japan. 
Yeah. Plastic. Woo, okay. But hey, Nana Hoshi. That's a huge dub. Alright, let's not get a little ahead of ourselves. You know, we don't need to summon any like demon gods or anything. Give and take. Come on, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Come by. Is that body gotti? He's here celebrating as well. Hey man. And Persena. I love body gotti. I didn't even do my kampai. Kampai! Right. True. Life is one big struggle with fleeting moments of happiness, so you must enjoy them when you get them. That was a fast episode. Not even a lot happened that went by hella fast. Oh, this is how we start. Okay. Norn and Aisha. I can already see the beef and everything that's going to go on. I do love their individual relationships with Rudy and how they're so different. I already assumed it was Rui Jerd, but seeing this man gets me so excited. Shout out to Quagmire asking the question. He's my favorite character in Mushoku. That man, I do miss his green hair. Look at that man. All right, this is the next episode. You want to give us some updates, buddy? Where you been? What you been doing? How's life? It's been a long time. You've been spreading that superb name, man? Yes, thank you for that. I appreciate you. Shout out. Alright, from where we started with Rejur in season one, Rudy is so much taller, so much older now. Yeah, um about that. It's a good way to put it. Things got complicated. I, I agree with you on that. I don't think she hates him either, but she just needs to discover herself, you know? Damn, man. I know, it feels like you just got here. Bro, we got a mansion now, bro. Stay as long as you need. Come on. I hope so. Rui Jert is the uncle we all need, you know. Calm, cool, collected, you know, willing to die to protect you. He's a W uncle. Uncle Rui Jert. Our first day waking up. Now we have Norn, Aisha. Got, a, got the gang in the house, you know. That Rui Jerd cutting down some trees. Oh. Rui Jerd body got he? Is everything good, guys? No beef, right? Yeah, body got he mentioned Laplace when he first met Rudy. Right? Come on, buddy. Look at the break of dawn. Nice little family meal. Sophie's a great cook. She's so much like Lily. It's so funny. He really doesn't like Rudy. We'll, we'll win her over for sure. Yeah, 
Right. You'll understand once you're a little older. Well, it was the most brief encounter that I was expecting to see. But I hope I see that man again soon. Love that man, Rui Jird. He's gonna be a tough, tough nut to crack, but we'll we'll win her over with a little, a little, a little confidence, a little love. You know, she'll be a whole new person. They are ha they are sisters. That's so funny. They really do be beefing like sisters. I can't stand kids who won't listen. She talks like she's a full grown adult. She's so eloquent. W Rudy. W Rudy. He's he's been looking after his sisters for a day and he's already stressing out. <laughs> you definitely want her to not just be limited to being your maid, so I get that. She does seem like the type of girl. She's very knowledgeable, very outgoing. She seems she could su succeed in any, you know, in anything. Understandable. Right? No. Sophie is amazingly helpful. It's crazy to hear that being said, you know. Just don't want to live with us? I mean, I don't want to not. I don't want to deny you. I want you to be able to do what you want, but. You know, be definitely safer. Right? It would be the first step in building a bridge, a relationship with her. Sure. You definitely have to be checking up on you all the time, you know. Safety. No, they're both young, so they don't understand, but it's, it's nothing like that. Don't call Lily a concubine. Little do you know, Rudy loves Lilia. Uh, the day that when that comes that I'm a parent... I'm gonna take lessons from Rudy because this is having children is hard. Won't lie to you. Hopefully, we still see her all the time, you know? It's like when you send your uh, son or daughter to college, you know? At least once every 10 days. I'm still your brother. She seems so depressed, man. Wish Paul could just cheer her up a little bit, you know? Knowing you guys is probably going to be like a pig carcass or something. Nope, he can tell you get home, huh? It's going to be something bad. What, what now, Luke? What's going on? 
とクルセナにそのその場で下着を脱ぐように強要されたということです。Don't tell me the bag is filled with underwear. Do not tell me that. Like, what are you girls thinking? He's like, I had no idea, I swear. I swear. I had no idea. I did not open it. They told me not to open it. I'm not. Be open about it. No. Absolutely not. Do a little magic lie detector test. Yeah, we can see all the underwear we want with, with Sophie. We don't need the dorm girl's underwear. I could not believe they held us like that. Linia and Persona. <laughs> this is so awkward. Let's not talk about our passionate nights. Oh lord, that is so awkward. Got like 40 pairs of underwear in there. <laughs><笑>あ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あ